Thank you. 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 Thank amongst the Rishonim that affects uh, both uh, this week's Parsha and the Parsha last week that will be read on Shabbos of Re'eh. Rashi in Parsha's Re'eh quotes the Sifrei, which is the uh, halachic medrash for Chumash Devorim. There are Agadic Medrashim, like Medrash Rabba and Medrash Tanhuma, and then there are the Halachic Medrashim. So uh, uh, for uh, Shmos, Vayikra, uh, Midbor, and Dvorim. And the one in Dvorim is called Sifrei. And that Rashi quotes it. That Medrash says astoundingly that. Uh, the mitzvahs that were given to Klal Yisrael are to be performed exclusively in Eretz Yisrael. And that, so to speak, the performance of the mitzvah in Chutz Loretz, outside of Eretz Yisrael, is not a fulfillment of the mitzvah. The mitzvah is only in Eretz Yisrael. The Sifra says that we perform mitzvahs outside of Eretz Yisrael so that there'll be a remembrance how to perform a mitzvah when we get back to Eretz Yisrael. But that the performance of the mitzvah in the diaspora is not, the, you're not, that's not the mitzvah. It's an astounding statement. <laughs> That means that, for instance, that putting on film uh, in the, the United Kingdom or in, a, in the United States is not equal to putting on film in Eretz Yisrael. And that's one of the uh, great advantages, uh, the many advantages that a Jew has in living in Eretz Yisrael is that he is performing the mitzvahs as they should be performed and not merely as a memorial service or uh, uh, to, to keep the habit going, etc. In this week's parsha, it arises again. Shoftim v'shotrim titen l'cho v'cho sh'arecho asher Hashem alakecho nosen l'cho. So there's a mitzvah in the Torah. To appoint shoftim, to appoint a judicial system. Is that only in Eretz Israel? Or is it even in the uh, Chutzlords? So both the Rambam and the Ramban are of the opinion that it's only in Eretz Israel, but there's a difference between them that I will discuss with you. But they say, because it says, Shoftim v'shotri titin l'cho v'chol sh'arecho, asher Hashem l'kecho nofsen l'cho. So it says that it's only in Eretz Israel. And therefore there is no mitzvah and the uh, Chutz to appoint uh, judges or to create a judicial system. And uh, we see that fulfilled in the idea that the Sanhedrin of 71 was only a din in Eretz Israel. And when the uh, Jews were exiled from Eretz Israel, finally, so then we don't have a Sanhedrin anymore. No matter how many great uh, scholars 
we may have in the exile, we cannot constitute the Sanhedrin in the exile. And uh, the Rambam goes so far as to say that the uh, declaration of the new moon of Rosh the Knights of Shodesh Elu, has to be made in Yerushalayim and Eretz Yisrael. And if it's not made in Eretz Yisrael, it's invalid. But the Rambam says that there always has to be, so to speak, a million Jews in Eretz Yisrael that will uh, declare when Rosh Chodesh will be in order for Rosh Chodesh to take effect all over the Jewish world. But of Chas Sholem, there was a time that there were really no Jews in Eretz Yisrael. So then the whole calendar would be bottled. The whole calendar would disappear. And there's an allusion to that. The Rambam says, uh, uh, why does it say in the Chodesh Benshin, Haverim Kol Yisrael? Why all of a sudden they're the Haverim? So he says that Haverim doesn't mean good friends. In the language of uh, the Mishnah and of the Gemara, Haveri means Talmud Chachomim. All of the Jewish people together are Haveri because they have Talmud Chachomim that declare the new moon and they declare it in Eretz Yisrael. But without Eretz Yisrael, the, the whole calendar also falls apart. The Ramban agrees that as far as Sanhedrin is concerned, and as far as the mitzvah, shofti v'shotrim, that's only in Eretz Yisrael. In other words, there's no mitzvah in uh, New York to uh, create uh, a Jewish court. The Torah did not command us to do that. However, the Ramban says, and this is a, uh, a basic uh, question in mitzvahs, what if you can do partially the mitzvah, but you can't do the whole mitzvah? What if you have three, you have an esrig and a lulav and a dasim, but there are no arovas? What should you do? So if you, is there any value in taking the uh, three uh, species that you do have? Or is that nonsense because that's not the mitzvah anymore? And really that's uh, a violation of lo sigaru mimenu, that you make the mitzvah smaller, you diminish it. And this is a basic discussion in Aloha throughout the ages. Uh, what if you have an Esri that's possible? In, in Eastern Europe, uh, Esrogim were a rare commodity. <laughs> You'll know, look in the Mission of Rura, he discusses how many uh, hours you have to wait in your village until they bring the esrog from the other village. You know, we live in a time when, uh, you know, who doesn't have an esrog? You have two, three, four. Child is four years old, he has his old esrog. But there was a time that it wasn't like that at all. That's part of the problem. I don't want to digress, but I'm going to. <laughs> Uh, the part of the, the idea of not knowing the past, which is the amnesia that we suffer, sir, from here and there, it's sort of no awareness, no self awareness, and no awareness of anything. So, uh, 
there was a time there were no Israelis. I remember I had a discussion with the Punavish Arov once. So on, on Yom Atzmaut, the Punavish Yeshiva uh, flies the Israeli flag from the rooftop of the Yeshiva. It's probably the, uh, one of the very few Israeli flags that can be seen in B'nai Brak. So he told me that uh, a committee came to visit him. For example, there was a committee. You'll notice they sign all the open letters, the committee. And they said to him, in B'nai Brak, you know, and the, the home of the Chazonish, et cetera, you're going to fly the flag? Zionism. So he told me, he said, you know what I answered him? I said, no, Rebbe, what did you answer to He said, in Lithuania, on Lithuanian Independence Day, I flew the Lithuanian flag from the roof of the yeshiva in Ponovich. He said, here it's not worse. <laughs> That's if you have perspective. If you don't have perspective, you know, it doesn't meet my requirement. <laughs> so here, is it uh, possible to have uh, a, a best in, in the Chutzlars? So the Ramban says we should have it for monetary matters. You can't have it for criminal matters. That's only in Eretz Yisrael. You can't have it for policy matters. That's only in Eretz Yisrael. But you can have it for monetary matters. And therefore, the piece of the mitzvah that you can do, do. And the Rambam is of the opinion that a piece of the mitzvah is not the mitzvah. If you want to have, you know, arbitration board, which is what a Bezdin is, okay. But that's not the mitzvah. It doesn't come under the title of Shoftim B'Shotrim Titen Lecha. So we see this uh, fundamental discussion as how to look at all of these things. How to look at Eretz soil in terms of mitzvahs. How fortunate a person is that it can be in Eretz soil and do the mitzvah. For that alone. And uh, those are all things uh, that are necessary for some sort of perspective on the situations that we find ourselves in. Rabbi Hananiah ben Akash, Yomer, Otsak Rivorchu, Lezak on Sisrael, Rosh Hashim, Oroh, Mitzvah, Shenemar, Aranach of Haitzaman, Sitko, Yagdil Tarah, Yadir.